let me get myself situated. I'm gonna come back. Hold on, give me a second. Hey guys, it's your girl Soul Fine. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. And if you are not, you already know what it is. Let's get into this video. So, as you can read from the title today, we are doing some measurements. I have my measuring tape here, my pink measuring tape. I have on my measurement shirt. Let me turn around so you guys can see. Pull my hair. But um, yeah, we're doing some measurements today. So a little backstory on my locks before I do my measurements. Um, I locked my hair October 15, 2019. So I am currently four years and November, December, four months locked. Um, this is how my hair looks. Um, a little backstory on what I do with my hair. I wash and retwist my hair every two months. Um, I moisturize my hair with water and vitamin E oil every week or so. Um, I only use Haitian cast oil in my scalp and on my locks. Um, those are only three products I use, literally. Water and vitamin E oil and water, water, vitamin E oil and Haitian cast oil. And that is all. The shampoo that I use is melanin. It is a... I'll put a picture of what it looks like here, and I'll also put it linked down below of the shampoo that I use. I do not use, I do not use conditioner. I only use shampoo, and I'll also link the video of the cards on why I do that. Honestly, I feel like that's all like the fresh recap for those of you who do not know my hair journey. Otherwise, any other questions that you have, you can comment them down below and I'll be sure to answer them when it comes to when I publish this video and then you guys can let me know. So excited, let's get to measuring. I haven't measured my hair with a measure tape. I've only used a shirt before, so I'm very excited to see. All right, so before I get into measurement, do you use inches or centimeters i don't even hold on give me a second let me figure out what i'm gonna do okay so after some deliberation on google it says to use centimeters so let me get my measuring tape and go to the centimeter side i'm gonna have to zoom in for you guys to see this bad boy so this is the closest i can zoom in for you guys to see my hair and still see like the numbers when i focus it to the camera. Let's see. Let's do a little test drive and focus. You guys see it? Perfect. Now, let's start with the front. So I'm gonna take my little favorite parts. I feel like the front of my hair are my favorite parts. So this is the front. See how long? And I'm loving how I have this white background, naturally. So we're gonna take it from one, go straight to my scalp. And then stretch, stretch, stretch. Do I pull it? I mean, if I pull it, it's a natural length, right? I feel like I can pull it and it will still be fine. Cause shrinkage is real, right? This is the length. Let me show you guys what the length is for this front part here. It is 40, should I count it as 45, 42 or 43? I'm gonna count it as 43. I think it's 43. There we go. So this is 43 centimeters. Let's try the other side. So the other side here. We're gonna go from the scalp. Let me put it underneath. Yeah, that way so my hair is directly on top of it. And then you come all the way down. I feel like this one might be longer. Actually, no, forget it. It's actually a little bit shorter. All right, so we're all the way down. And this one I would say is 42. 42. This is not bad. 42 centimeters. I know my the back of my hair is pretty long. Let's see, let's grab one of these bad boys. But then again, my hair is in natural layers. 
my hair is making so much noise. My hair is in natural layers, so maybe, let's do this one. This strand here. So let me take my measuring tape, put it right at the nape. Let me come in a little closer for you guys to see. And then it's right on the measuring tape. So we're gonna stretch a little bit. Now let shrinkage get to us. And where are we right here? I think we're at 41. Let me hold it really nice and tight and taut. It looks like 41. We got some, I was gonna say inches. We got some centimeters. Let me do the other side. So I feel like, how long, how often should you measure your hair? Is, there, is that a thing? You gotta measure your hair a certain amount of time. This is my first time actually measuring it, so we'll see. Maybe when I hit 10 years. This is a little adventurous though. I mean, I'm already at four. We need another six years to measure my hair. I don't think so. Maybe I should measure my hair every two years. Yes, I'm gonna do every two years moving forward. So we're doing this side here. And I generally, yeah, I'm pulling right now and I feel like it might be a little bit longer than the other side. I'm still going, still going, still going. All right, boom. Let me hold it here and see. Guys. 48 centimeters? I felt like a Spanish, like a Puerto Rican in this hair. I felt Puerto Rican. Y'all know I love me some Puerto Rican. Wow. I gotta get a little high for you guys. When I stretch it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. All right, let's do one middle part. Like, look at how imperfect my locks are, but I don't care. I love it the way it is. So these bumps and lumps. I think those are from all my retwists. But it's okay. So, back on the centimeter side. We're going to get the lock, put it right underneath it, and now we stretch and pull and pull and pull. Okay, I think that's as long as it's gonna get. All right, and this is how long this one is. 47 centimeters. So I feel like on average I can say 40, 45 centimeters is how long my hair is. Because everyone is a little bit different. Let's do this one. Let me just do like two more and then I'm gonna do my long length. Because this is supposed to be really short. I just wanted to show you guys and measure my hair and document me measuring my hair. So right here at the bottom, right at the nape, at the root and my scalp. Using all the weird stuff on my scalp. It's a nape. Pull, 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 pull. Okay, I think I stretched this enough. So I can get the full length. Boom. Yeah, I would say like on average, it's like 43, 44. Let me see, can I do one more in the back? I'm gonna do like one like right here. Let me do it, this one is pretty long. Um, let's get back to one. All right, boom, boom, here. We're gonna pull and stretch, put it right at the scalp and pull. How long you're gonna get 
I feel like this is my longest lock. You guys see that? 50. I could even say 51. Dang. I mean, I feel like, yeah, the middle of my head is usually the longest. Everywhere else, because of my... Let's do one more in the middle. Let's see. This one is more on this side. It's like right next to it. Let's do it. Uh, and then I'm going to do... But when I do like the long length... It's a long length. When I do like the overall one, I won't be stretching my hair. I'm going to just leave it the way it is. And measure. So right here... Okay, this one is pretty close to the other one. It's like a couple of centimeters. This one is at 48. So like two centimeters. But look, this is a, this, the difference of two centimeters. It's pretty well. Two centimeters is a lot. Is a lot. All right. So for this last part, when I'm showing like my overall length, I got myself my mirror because it's gonna be real hard for me to see if you guys can actually see. But when I'm editing my video, I'll be able to see like overall how long everything is. Uh, let me get myself situated. I'm gonna come back. Hold on. Give me a second. All right, so for this last part, I decided to stand up. So I'm standing up, and you guys don't really need to see the top part of my head. You guys just need to see the bottom for my length. So I'm gonna turn around, bring all my hair to the back. Okay, keep my head nice and straight. Pull my shirt down so that all the numbers are nice and aligned and straight. Okay, let me inch up a little bit so you guys can see the bottom and I feel like that's the number when I edit the video I'll be able to see what number it is otherwise like if I stretch this one that's right there let me stretch another one this one that's right here um, let's do one right here what number is that I'm right here Um, the ends, there's one here, and then if I stretch this one, that one right here, where it goes back up. So I have like a whole bunch of layers. My hair is just really layered. So nonetheless, this is what my hair looks like. And I did not like make my hair this way. Somebody texted me. And I didn't like tell the girl who started my locks for me to have layers. I feel like... My hair just naturally grows in layers. So like the front of my hair just is shorter and then it just gets longer as it goes, as you guys can see. So like right here is short and then it goes down that way. Same for this side as well. Short and then it goes down that way. So I just, my hair just grows in natural layers and I really like that. And so it worked out perfectly. Had my own little style. But yeah, this was just a cute little simple video of me measuring my locks. This would have been a great time for you to measure your locks as well. So get yourself a measuring tape and do so. Also, if you guys actually did take my advice and measure your locks as well, please comment down how long your inches are. So say the first two and the bottom two and like one in the middle. So those five measurements. All the products that I mentioned in the beginning of the video will be linked down below. You can try them out, see if they work for you, especially that shampoo. I love that shampoo. That shampoo was beautiful. Um, Haitian Castor Oil, you can find that at your local beauty supply store. I'll also have it linked on where I get mine from Caribbean Secrets Cosmetics. Otherwise, yeah, I feel like this is the end of the video. Give me a big old thumbs up for more content like this. Um, subscribe if you're not already. And I have so many more videos online for you guys to check out. So see you guys in my next video. Stay cute and stay fine. Bye, guys.